Hi. I'd like to talk about two words that have given me all kinds of trouble over the years. At least all kind, all time, all kinds of um, spaces where I thought about them and tried to figure out a balance. The two words are good enough. Good enough. And what brings them up, especially this week, is that I'm recording um, segments for a course that I'll be offering. And they run about 15 or 20 minutes each. And I do it with PowerPoint and I talk live and record it and then edit it. And the struggle is, when is a video segment good enough? Like the last one I did is about 20 minutes and there's one spot where one of our cats, Sam, walks behind me right across the bottom of the screen without me even noticing it. And um, Should I edit it out or laugh at it or just leave it? There's another spot where it was hard to read the quote quite um, that I was speaking through on the monitor in front of me and I flubbed up the quote a little bit. Well, should I cut that segment out or um, maybe retape it, try to insert it or do the whole 20 minutes? And I like doing a 20 minute constant because it makes a better flow. And for maybe a half a dozen slides, for some reason, the computer was very slow in advancing to the next slide. So there are some things that would make it a little bit better. But is it good enough? Now I know myself that I am by nature more of a perfectionist. I like things just so, just right. And one of my strengths, according to a profile called Strengths Finder, is Maximizer. I like taking things that are good and making them better. If I can, take things that are good and making them great. So I'd love to spend more time, maybe another another day working on it. On the other hand, there are more segments to come and sometimes having some flaws in them, a cat walking through or flubbing up a quote a little bit or just having some hesitation and naming it. Sometimes it makes the presentation even better. I never worried about those when I was teaching live. So is it good enough. Now for me, as I said, being a perfectionist, being a maximizer, I'm always are generally pushing myself to say, yeah, this is good enough. I don't need to do it again. Now there probably might be other personalities um, and you'd have to decide for yourself who you are that would have to say, I need to make this better before it's good enough. I have to be careful to not say, eh, good enough. It's not built into me to say, eh, good enough. It's pressing to say, yeah, good enough, time to move on. Especially when I don't have a hard and fast deadline or I'm not doing it live, because doing it live in front of people, uh, you can't do a do-over. <laughs> you just have to keep at it. So I wonder where you would um, come in, is your self-awareness with good enough. Is it important that you keep pressing yourself and say, don't go all the way. Don't, don't try to make it perfect because trying to make it perfect, just you won't get things done. Um, I remember when I was working on my doctoral dissertation, I had a professor come in and say, okay, for some of you writing up the dissertation, get it to about 70 or 80 percent of where you'd like it to be and say, okay, submit it. Otherwise, you'll never get it done. For others, keep pressing because 40% isn't enough. Keep pushing. And I thought, ah, I need to, that was words for me that I could use to say, you know what, 80, 90% of where I would really like it to be if I spent extra hours. And I suppose if I was doing a TED talk or something like that, that would be out there like crazy, okay, then you spend a month rehearsing and going through it over and over again to get it just right. But for this, good enough, good enough. So where do you fit in that? Do you press more to make it better? Do you need to back off and say it's okay where it is? I, I, can, I can live with that and 
maybe there is some advantage to not trying to make it perfect all the time for stress, for warmth of a presentation or interaction. So that's what I'm thinking about today. Good enough. For this video, with a cat walking through, with me flubbing up a quote a little bit, with some hesitation, even one slide that advanced too far and needed to back it off, it's probably good enough, unless the people around me that review it say, hmm, maybe it's not. So I'm backing off a little bit today and saying, yeah, time to move on to the next one. Thanks for listening. Talk to you next time.